first time Castellón, I think it was somewhere in uh, last year, November, a uh, long time ago, um, where I think the first coach left mm -hmm. and then they tried to contact me and then it was the first time that I heard the word Castellón. I'm at another club, uh, they gave me the opportunity to start my coaching career there the year before. In, no in November, they fired the coach. I, I didn't want to leave because it's not how I am. And also, uh, I just wanted to finish the season and try to promote with them. In the summer, it changed because uh, yeah, when I spoke with, uh, with Bob, and then um, yeah, after uh, the season here, when they not got promotion, then uh, uh, the club called again Bob, and then um, I had a good conversation uh, with the Zoom call also. <laughs> and uh, yeah, then I started to think, okay, maybe it's something. Uh, let's see how serious it is. And then it went well, uh, fa uh, it went fast. So, um, because I like things like this, uh, in the end of the day, of course, I could choose to be on the highest level in Holland, in the La Liga level. Um, but I also like this and uh, yeah, until uh, now I'm very happy that I made the, the step because yeah, um, I also feel football here in Castellón, it's really, the, the people love it and you see it also in the home games uh, and that is also what I also like, like is that every, it's like not big, big, big city, but it's like everything is like committed to the club. Uh, and of course things are going well now, but uh, the next step is you also want to see it as a coach when it goes a little bit not so well and when things are maybe more rough and not so easy. So, um, yeah, uh, so to come back on the first, then I really felt, okay, this is something what maybe fits to me, a project uh, where I can work free uh, and where it's not that I can do whatever what I want, but it's more, yeah, I feel really good here. Uh, when we came, we showed a video from how we played with Zwolle. Um, after that, we're going to train with you guys on the pitch and we're going to try uh, to get it in the system. Uh, there you need training, there you need uh, the pre-season games. Uh, so in that development, I, be I believed in it. And then there's sometimes, there is the other thing, is the hard way is I don't make any uh, uh, solution with you and me. This is how what I want, and this is what we're gonna do. And if you don't do it, sorry, you're out. So then I take another one. So there is a little bit. Sometimes you have to do it like this, and the other uh, uh, hand you have to do it like that. But my philosophy is here, and this is what we do. So there's we can't uh, talk about that. So I, there is no there is no left or right. This is the philosophy, and this is what we're gonna do. I think some they are for sure uh, uh, become better, like or, or different type of players. Calavera is a totally different type of player at the moment. He plays more forward, he runs more forward, he dribbles more with the ball. Now, that sort of things we really speak about with the player individually. Uh, the other coaches like Johan and Epps and you know, and of course me also. We show the players like videos. Uh, we show what we what we want from them. So that is also like in developing in the start of the season and pre-season, uh, you show them maybe sometimes clips from other players or from a very good player or from, we also did some players from uh, Zwolle. It's not that they were better, but that to, to let them see how it is to play in our style and what we need and what we ask from them. Um, and this is what we do the whole day. Like today we have a practice and then after training maybe uh, uh, three, four players, they sit down with the coaches and they watch individual clips. Um, so the development in that, development in performance, development in food, development and so performance in the gym. Um, they make longer days, uh, so they are longer here. Uh, so in that sort of things, we give them a little bit the ownership. First we help them and now we give them the ownership that they know what to do as a professional and to be a better player. And the, problem, the problem is that if something happens in Holland, you, you know, coaches get fired and they call your name and they try to get you back. Um, but I didn't, I, I don't want to go back to Holland. So, uh, 
The other side of football is you never can say if you stay somewhere, but I'm, I'm very happy here. Uh, maybe I don't laugh so much, but, <laughs> but I, I'm, no, I, I like it here. Uh, for me, I don't think about other things or I made the choice to come here. Uh, the only thing is, and that is also what I expect from my players, is that you, you want to have, you want more in your life. Uh, I want to coach, of course, on the highest level. Uh, but when that is, I don't know. Uh, so I'm working hard to get, to be a, a good coach, and the players need to work hard to be a good player. Uh, and if we can make steps with Castillon, that is that would be very good. Um, yeah, and in the end of the day, my dream is also to be a coach from a, a big club or a top club or even before that. Um, yeah, and that part I already had a little bit in Holland that I was like in the mid table uh, coaching. Um, yeah, uh, the only thing is you never can, s maybe, maybe you never can say when a really big team comes and they want you, what are you going to do? You never know that. But for now, I'm. Uh, I'm very happy here. I can't say it enough. I say it every day to people, uh, yeah, uh, and especially the Dutch people, because there are still a lot of them. They don't understand it, and I'm always reply, I'm happy. Um, uh, that's why you also see a lot of press from Holland is coming uh, uh, over to see, and then yeah, they start to realize a little bit uh, what is going on when they visit the stadium and why I'm here. So for me. Uh, for me personally, it is very good uh, on the other side, but uh, also that maybe other people understand my my decision. But in the end of the day, when you come to to that, it's it's the decision what I make with my family. We lose Fale, he goes back to Braga, so we need an under-23 player. Uh, you lose a player like Anton who wants to play more. I understand that. We also we also uh, agreed with it that he can go and then play more somewhere else. Yeah, so we already, now we already need uh, two players. So this is already, if this happens naturally, and then it happens, and but can, be, can also be good, because then maybe two other players come in, you have fresh blood, uh, that can also be good. Um, and if another player or other players wanna go or don't wanna stay here, then we also have to find solutions for that. But it is not that really that we want to push players out and we want to bring in all new players. For me, I think from the start that I came here, I was very respectful to all the players. I, we trained with them, we tried to develop them and then uh, we will see. When I come on the pitch before the game, you feel it before the game starts. I'm always one of the latest who comes on the pitch. Uh, and yeah, there, for me, it's really, it's magical. Uh, I had again a lot of visitors last game for, uh, against Osasuna from Holland. They, yeah, we talk about third league. They said also, yeah, we really can understand. Now when they come here and they see this and they feel that atmosphere in the stadium, they understand, yeah, then you can talk about difference of league, but they also understand that there is not, for me, a lot of difference between Castellon and Zwolle. He's almost in, uh, in what is it, six weeks, he turns, or eight weeks, he turns into 39. Uh, he loves to play at home because this is also maybe extending his career. The atmosphere, the stadiums, when, uh, when there is a lot of people, you have to be honest with that. He, uh, one, his career is over. He doesn't play anymore for the money, he just plays for the fun. Uh, and he's helping here, uh, me, uh, to help me and the club and the, all the uh, other coaches. Yeah, he's helping us to try to win games, but also in the future he wants to be coach. So he's also here uh, to help the club and to help to, to develop. And yeah, of course, uh, when he comes in this stadium, he still feels like uh, a young kid. And uh, yeah, till now he's doing very well. Um, and uh, yeah, that is, the, that is, for us, he's really important. I already know him longer because I met him in Philadelphia. I knew him as a player, but there I really met him to work with him.